Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing introduction to polynomial functions. So first, let us define what is a polynomial function. A polynomial function is a function defined by a polynomial in one variable. It is written in the form p of x is equal to a sub n, x raised to n minus 1, plus a sub n minus 1, x raised to n minus 2, plus the ellipse sign, plus a sub 1 x, plus a sub 0, where a sub n, a sub n minus 1, a sub n minus 2, a sub 1, and a sub 0, are real numbers and a n must not be equal to zero and n is a non-negative integer. Okay, to better understand, let's have the following examples. We have p of x is equal to negative 4x cubed minus 2x plus 3. Second one is f of x is equal to 2 over 3x minus 1 and y is equal to 5x raised to 4 minus 3x cubed plus 1. Notice that in our three examples, our, de our degree is a range from highest to lowest. That's why we have here in our form, we have n raised to x, we have x raised to n minus 1, x raised to n minus 2, and so on. So it is in decreasing order. Now let's have a short review about the degree of polynomial functions. We have the constant function. P of x is equal to a sub 0, where a sub 0 is equal to, is not equal to 0. We know that a constant function has, the, has a degree of 0. That's why you notice in our polynomial function, this is our constant function, a sub 0. And the constant must not be equal to 0. We have the linear function, our lesson when you were in grade 7 and grade 8. We know that the graph of linear function or is a straight line. P of x is equal to a sub 1x plus a sub 0, where a sub 1 is not equal to 0. So why? Because if this is 0, this will lead us to constant function. And in our linear function, we have a degree of 1. So our highest exponent or degree is 1. Quadratic function. Your lesson when you were in grade 9. So we know that the graph of a quadratic function is a parabola. It is in the form p of x is equal to a sub 2x raised to 2 plus a sub 1x plus a sub 0. And in our quadratic function, it is discussed that we have a degree of 2. Okay, that's why we have a graph of a curve for the parabola. And it can also be written in our standard form, the ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not equal to zero. Why? Because if a is equal to zero, this will become zero, then it is not a quadratic function anymore. It will lead us to linear function. So check the connections of the following functions. Now we have the cubic function, P of x is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, wherein a must not be equal to 0. Again, if a is 0, this will be 0. This will lead us to quadratic function. And cubic function, it has a degree of 3. So in grade 10, in your grade, you will discuss later on the graph of cubic function. And of course, after the cubic function, we have the quartic function. And we have a note here, 
polynomial with higher degree are named after the degree. Let's say we have the example f of x is equal to x raised to 9 plus 5x cubed minus 2x plus 5 is called a ninth 9 degree polynomial. And now let's have the following examples. Direction is determine if the given equation is a polynomial function or not. If it is, classify it according to its degree. Let's have number one. g of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 2x minus 3. Polynomial function or not? g of x is a polynomial function. Classify it according to its degree. It has a degree of 3 So it is a cubic function. Next, number two. R of A is equal to A squared minus 5 over A plus 1. Polynomial function or not? R of A is not a polynomial function because it consists of a term look at our second term that has a positive exponent in the variable in the variable Look at our denominator. Uh, it is it consists of a term that has a positive exponent in the variable in the denominator. Okay. Consists of a variable that has a positive exponent in the denominator. And in number three. So in number two, check the restrictions of our polynomial function. That is your lesson in your first quarter. So if you want to learn the restriction of our polynomials, go to first quarter playlist of grade 10. Number three, y is equal to x raised to four minus five x cubed plus three x squared plus four. Is y a polynomial or not? Y is a polynomial function. It has a degree of? Of 4. Therefore, it is a quartic function. In determining whether the given function is a polynomial or not, of course, first, check the restrictions. Our restrictions, there must be no uh, term that has a passive exponent in our denominator that is located in our... So that's on how to check or determine whether the given function is a polynomial function 
or not. Always check first the restrictions. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. See you in our next lesson, zeros of polynomial functions.